Okay, whoa, whoa. <laughs> First of all, mail-in balloting has been the way of voting in the state of Utah. It hasn't been temporary, and that is one red state. Could I, could, do you want me to, are you talking or am I? I'm talking. And mail-in balloting has been the way of life in many, many states, red, blue, and purple. And one of the things we've learned from the pandemic is that it's actually incredibly helpful in a pandemic, but it's also made it easier for people to vote. So what has gone on in some states is they've rolled back the very things that will make it easier to vote, leading to more and more, as I pointed out, confusion. The other thing it's important to know, and the reason I use the example of Montana and same-day registration, is they are also rolling back things that have long been the law in states. They basically, to quote a North Carolina a court regarding a law a few years ago are discriminating with surgical precision by looking at each state and figuring out how did more people vote this way? Well, let's change that. Oh, 70,000 people registered to vote in the state of Georgia uh, during the runoff period. So let's do two things. Let's reduce the runoff period, which they have done, Senator Warnock, and then let's uh, uh, not allow same day uh, registration, not same day, registration during that period. That's exactly what they've done. So I can give you numerous examples of both ways. They've rolled back things that they changed during the pandemic, like witnesses uh, for mail-in ballots in South Carolina, and they took that away, and things that were put in place even before the pandemic. But no matter which way they did it, it all adds up to one thing, and that is voter suppression and limiting people's freedom to vote.